to VNMD. I'm back with another video about sending your letters to AMCAS using Interfolio. I hope this helps. Please follow along. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, thanks for tuning back. Let's get to the video. All right, so here we are in the letter evaluation section of AMCAS. Important to know that you can submit your application before creating letter entries okay like what we're about to do um letter entries here all these and you can submit your application without letters being received so that means if you could submit now with no letters at all and then you can still go and create the entry and have them uh, filled out or you could submit the or create the entry and still submit your application even though the letters aren't received yet which is really cool so um, looking over here to the left, um, these right here, identifying information, schools attended, biographic information, coursework, work activities, and essays will be locked once you submit your application. These standardized tests, medical schools, letters of evaluation will remain open for you to edit, like it says, and like you may, may want to add schools and you may want to add a test date if you got to retake some. Um, okay, we're going to start our, um, our, what you call it? Our, um, our request okay this one is real similar to the TMDSAS application system where you do have to choose a committee letter letter packet or individual letter meaning it's coming from the actual person from themselves like individually which is what we're going to select here okay here you want to give the letter a title this is just for you name it something that's good or something that will mean something to you you won't get your letters confused so maybe their name where you met them and their position or something uh, the rest of it is just filling out the like it says author's contact information and you do want to put the school that you met them at or that y'all are I don't know where y'all formed y'all's bond or something uh, yeah that's really it for this part you just fill it out self-explanatory boom <laughs> I want to specifically talk about this part um, in the AMCAS application you are putting in the all the information for that letter writer in case AMCAS needs to contact them for whatever reason so I recommend you put the excuse me you put the letter writers email here I was worried maybe they'll send a letter or like an email to this letter writer but they don't and I've asked and they, they don't it's strictly just for them to have their information to verify you know what you put in versus what's in the letter XYZ and if need be they need to contact them I by mistake I put the what you call it the interfolio email that's generated for this person here but that was completely wrong so do not do that I was able to fix it, but put the their actual email, like how they're able to be contacted here. I'm back. Now, so we have all this filled out, right? Um, everything's ready to go. All right. Now I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Save. And this is stating that AMCAS wants you to make sure everything matches and to confirm that everything does match, they're going to generate a letter ID for you a letter request form for you with all your information in it that you can give your letter writer and this is it here however we're using interfolio and we don't necessarily need this all we need is the letter id to put into interfolio which interfolio will have a spot for and we'll include it there so we'll go to interfolio and we'll go to deliveries and we'll start a new delivery right here at the top right corner and you could either have it emailed, mailed, confidential, letter upload. This is wrong. And this is where I did this wrong last time. We're gonna go down here to find an opportunity. So now, to AMCAS, we search. So now here we are. It gives us the American Medical College Application Service from 2021. I guess because people may be still applying or still getting in from the past cycle and we have this cycle and next year's cycle. So
Okay, so years, of course, will change. These will get updated. You want to click the year that you intend to matriculate into medical school or dental school or whatever school it's, it is, right? It's the year that ends the cycle, essentially. So if it's like this cycle right now, currently, that this video is uploaded to YouTube, it would be the 2023-2024 cycle, so you would want to click 2024. This video was made in the past, so of course, 2024 is not up there. Um, just remember that. You will see me click the wrong year. I realized it later and I fixed it, so make sure the right year is selected. So we'll start application service. Okay. And now here we go. American Medical College, da, 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 letters of recommendation. You can add documents, upload document. Nah, nah, nah. So this is where you could upload the letter request form, but you don't have to. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna add the letter ID. So now from here, you have to select the document meaning like the letter from Interfolio. And so once your letter is uploaded, it'll be listed as a document that you have and that you can send anywhere basically. So we have all these documents. Okay, it's in alphabetical order. Okay, great. So we want AMCAS recommendation letter from Dr. Bradley. Okay. And he says it was completed here, everything's done, boom. So we'll click add. And great, so now it's here. And if you wanted to add more documents, you could, like if you wanted to add more letters to this submission, you could, you could go add documents and then click another one if I wanted to, but I'm only doing one right now just for the sake of this video. Uh, okay, yes. Okay, and now we click continue. Um, AMCAS, AMC requires letter ID for all documents. Yes, it does. And we have that, don't we? We go here and we copy and paste our letter ID. Save. Oh, you must include. I did. What are you talking about? Okay, whatever. Okay, so now it's there. Da da da. Um, please select an ID to associate with your application. Manage IDs from above. Okay, so we're gonna use the AAMC ID because that's the one we need. I'm gonna add. Cartier ID for it does. Okay, well it's there. I'm talking about. All right. Well, now it's been done. Save them. I can save letter IDs. Oh, right here. Letter ID is saved, y'all. I'm not even, I'm tripping. Okay. So now we're good. We are done with this request. And so now we're going to click submit. <clears throat> Great. And so now we have this in our history that it says, you know, it was preparing to send and that it's sending it to AMCAS. Yeah. And we can review it. Let's just check. Mm -hmm. It's got my AMCAS AMC ID. It's sending... Dr. Bradley's letter that was uploaded on that date with the letter ID that corresponds to AMC Ooh. and it's going to send it and that's all we have to do. Mind you, if you did want to send more letters, you all you would have to do is go to AMCAS first and create more letter entries like we did here and send it, you know, and generate the letter ID, but I'm only doing one for this video. Here's a screenshot of the email I got from AMCAS about 24 hours later that my letter had been received and I could see that it was applied to my account. So that is it y'all. That is all I have to show y'all. I hope that was helpful. I did want to mention one more thing. This whole service, Interfolio, it does cost 60 bucks. $5.99 for the website, but it's 60 bucks. Um, when I got it, it was $48, but you know, prices go up, inflation, they stay tax and pre -meds. Just know this, like, we did a whole video about it. This whole process, applying to med school is wild. Anyway, so this service, if you want to use it, mind you, you don't have to, is $60. It gets you 50 deliveries, okay? Deliveries meaning how many times that they send a letter to wherever. They may send it to a grad program, to the med schools, to the med school application service, maybe to someone, maybe to yourself. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, just send in them, right? Um, <clears throat> or even scholarships. You could do it for that, too. Anything, really. 50 deliveries. Now, when I talked to them on the phone, they did say a good way to save on deliveries is to maybe batch your deliveries into one so like I showed you I only did one for the sake of the video but like I have 
I have six to seven letters. In the video, I think it said six, but like now, after the end of it all, I have seven. Um, so I could have basically made all seven letter entries into AMCAS or four if it's TMDSAS. Um, but then, and then sent the four from TMDS or sent the seven to AMCAS um, in one go. Essentially, it's to save on deliveries. So that's 11. Yeah. So that's 11 deliveries out of the 50 that I get versus two. Yeah. I thought that'd be visually like significant to see this go to this, but like it was still 11. To <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. So you could do that. Save on deliveries as much as you can. And so make that $60 stretch. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I wanted to say. It's a great, great avenue or platform for pre-meds or graduate students. Anyone, really. It doesn't have to be pre-meds. You could just be looking for a job or just saving on anything. What am I saying? Um, networking. I don't know. You could just be... A regular person and you may want to save your letters or whatever or you're in your resume or something you can use this so it's not open it's open to anyone even dental schools uh, PhD schools PharmD schools any schools okay any schools yeah and that's it okay yep and that is it for this video you guys thanks for watching I hope that was helpful let me know if you have questions if y'all need anything you got this keep going See you next time.